Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So, those of you who are kind of new subscribers or have forgotten or don't know, I'm an urban planning major. Um, I graduated from CSUN, Cal State Northridge. I'm an urban planning major. So, anytime something kind of urban planning related pops up, I get even more excited. And so, I've been following the WDW Magic Forums and they've been, they actually post about Disneyland Ford about a week ago and how there's, the site was kind of active, and then I clicked on it, and it was taken down. But they posted how their Disney was planning a master plan for the resort in time for the Olympics and and beyond. And here it is: Disneyland just presented it to the OC, or just presented it to Anaheim officials today. The OC Register got a hold of it, and this is a master plan for the Disneyland Resort for future possible expansion. Um, from now for the next several years, at least ten years. Anything and everything in this picture is are just concept. These are ideas. Um, none of this is for sure. Gonna, there's a whole you know, media or public outreach process. Then there's approvals needed. Um, but there's lots and lots of public. They call them public scoping or public outreach meetings. That's what where the urban planners urban planning term for it is. And those are the for you guys to go. Um, if you live in Anaheim or if you just live in Southern California, you can drive down to Anaheim, and you can go ahead and. Uh, participate in those um, and you can decide what these land uses should be so like if you think Toy Story Land or the Toy Story parking lot which is pictured above here should be a third the third park or more attraction space instead of a shopping mall then you should say that or in area residents will all chime in so definitely participate in those meetings um, and I'm gonna put the link of Disneyland forward below uh, so you can check it out for yourselves but here's some concept art concept art um i'm sorry i didn't really explain the first picture too well but that's just basically a general area of where the mash plan is that kind of goes with the third picture that third theme park but this is with the toy story lot right here and this disneyland forward plan proposes um right now this again very early concept art and the final product is probably going to look nothing like this but basically like a disney springs or disney town type area an expanded downtown disney area for the Toy Story parking lot and that makes sense as to why they're doing that because it's by the garden walk and they're trying to put all the uses together so there's retail uses right there already uh, they want to put more retail and commercial uses right there mixed use uh, maybe a hotel uh, but that way the residents will be less upset right if you put a theme park there and the other theme parks are kind of far away the residents may be a little bit more upset so this is a a conceptual area for a nice expanded downtown Disney with a nice lagoon or lake in the middle of it. And I think it would be quite nice if they replaced downtown Disney and put that there, actually. Or an expanded, like, a Disney Springs type of thing. Here's the big one. Here's the here's the big one right here. The theme park expansion. Now, there's a couple of concepts for this. This concept art just shows different attractions, right? They show, there, you see the Paradise Pier Hotel right in the in the foreground there but see what is very clearly a theme land at first i thought it was like tokyo disney sea type with the to the left there with that volcano looking type of thing i thought it was oh we're getting like a they want a tokyo disney sea type expansion here but um that'd be awesome if we get that though but anyway these are just concept art they clearly want more attraction to go here in the form of two options either they bridge they extend dca and uh, disneyland over a bridge and fill in the parking lots there. Um, they don't combine them into one park and it creates kind of like a maybe a new esplanade. Or it's a completely third park in general. Where it's separate, it's a new gate. And if you look on Disneyland4.com, which again I'll link in the description below, you see those are the two options there. And there obviously some more hotels can be there, but they clearly want the attractions to be there. And it's good. I fully agree with that because... And a lot of people are saying, what about the Toy Story lot? Well, think about it. Walt Disney World, you need a lot of transportation to get to the parks. But if a third park or just an extended downtown down Disneyland and California Metro right right here, you wouldn't need to take a monorail or take a bus. You can just walk to all three parks, which is be which would be absolutely amazing. And that's, I think, one of the advantages that Disneyland has over Disney World is that you don't depart. It's very easy to park hop and makes park hopping much more valuable because you don't have to wait in line for any type of transportation to get to another park. Um, and here's an in, in-close version of um, 
some of the lands, some of the, well, the concept art lands they got going on here. As you see, there's, there's the Disneyland Hotel that's expanded. It's still downtown Disney. is still there. And then behind that, you see that kind of like a river or kind of a water attraction right there. And Disneyland just threw, threw out some potential lands and ideas of what could go into this space. It is not confirmed. These are just ideas. One was the Tron Coaster, which is rumored to become Disneyland anyway, so it's be a perfect spot for it in its own new land. Another was Fantasy Springs from Tokyo Disneyland, or Tokyo Disney Sea. Um, I'd rather have that volcano here, to be honest. That'd be amazing. That that mysterious, even if it's just mysterious island, just that land, that'd be amazing. And uh, obviously, there's Arendelle. And Zootopia was mentioned as an immersive land. Um, in the article so again it's a con it's, these are not confirmations of any of these lands that's just what can go here but what do you guys think of all this uh there's again this is just a very early draft these are just early concepts uh there's gonna be a lot of public scoping slash outreach meetings on where this should go this by the way is in preparation a lot of it is for the 2028 olympics disney wants to have a big Attraction Anaheim is one of the hubs for the 2028 Olympics for LA 28. And um, if they start now, they can begin construction maybe 2024 to 2026 ish. It takes about two to four years to build these things. And uh, they can open it up in time, hopefully, for the 2028 Olympics if they start now and get the permits. They're already putting in permits and putting in approvals for some of these things. Um, specifically, the Eastern Gateway, which is also. If you go back to that first picture, um, you see in the overall plan, the Eastern Gateway is coming back. But I like this plan much better than the Toy Story lot being used as, again, theme park. Because that way, you put all the retail and commercial uses on the east side of the resort. All the theme park and entertainment attractions on the west side of the resort. West side of the resort. I feel like it would also lessen traffic. That eliminates need again, for buses to cross on Catella and Harbor. Let me see for people to be walking back and forth if they want to park up. Everything is contained in their own little Disney bubble, which is great. And again, you, as Disney and theme park fans, we probably want you know, the resorts to take over everything. But you have to think of also the Anaheim residents and surrounding residents who may not want that. They may, you know, scream about traffic and scream about thinking Disney's encroaching our city. Yeah, even though they basically put Anaheim on the map. So you also have to think about the residents because the city is going to want to basically make a compromise between the residents of the Anaheim and Disney itself. As far as new hotels, I, that's definitely somewhere in the plan. It could be on, um, well, that west side of space is also, because you see there's also a hotel there. So it's kind of a mixed use space, like a, almost like what, well, with Disney and Universal, with Epic Universe and a lot of Disney's new theme parks have hotels integrated into lands. I mean, even in California Adventure, you have Grand California integrated into Grizzly Peak. So just to save space, probably things just like that. So I wouldn't. Ex I expect a new hotel. If there's a new hotel, I expect it to be integrated in a land like Fantasy. That's one of the reasons they brought up Fantasy Springs, because again, there's a hotel integrated into that land. So I'd expect that. But what do you guys think of all this? Again, very early conceptual renderings. And even ideas. The third theme park could still potentially, if they do one, could still go in the Toy Story lot. Uh, this is just what they're proposing. What do you guys think of this overall plan? Again, I'll link the entire the website down below so you can check it out yourself. Definitely go on the website and sign up for updates as well. Um, like an email update if you want more more uh, updates on this. Because they'll send you when the meetings are. They'll send you uh, how you can tune in virtually probably to the meetings or go to the meetings. And they'll send you any kind of, any kind of updates if you do if you subscribe to their email subscription list on, again, DisneylandForward.com, which I'll link in the description below. I think this is a great plan. I'm super excited. I'm also really excited to see what other what the other theme parks do for in preparation for the 2028 Olympics. And even if it's just new land or new ride, like what Universal Hollywood will do, Six Flags, Knots, all that good stuff. But this is, again, the biggest expansion of the Disneyland, biggest proposal of the Disneyland, Export, uh, Disneyland Resort since California Adventure and Downtown Disney opened about 21 years ago. So that's pretty awesome. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, um, 
press that thumbs up button. If you have any urban planning related questions, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll use my urban planning expertise and I'll answer them for you in English terms. I won't use fancy government terms, but um, if you, any, and like in the planning commission process, all that process, if you want to know how long this would potentially take and the steps, again, I can answer those in the comments below. I can clarify something if you uh, didn't understand something in this video. So definitely comment all questions below and I'll probably go live this weekend or the next few days to kind of discuss this. Um, I might be live with Orange Go 55 tomorrow anyway. So we'll have to see. But subscribe for more theme park updates, more updates on this situation. And because I'll be every new detail that pops up, I'll be making a video on it. And uh, share this to let your friends know that Disney and Resort's going to become massive. Keep in mind, Walt Disney World, over what, 27,000 acres, has four parks, and Disneyland Resort, over just like a few hundred acres, will have potentially, well, three parks potentially. Um, that's pretty impressive. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. We're about to, again, blessing of size, but Disneyland knows how to cramp things into their tiny little space. It's, Disney really knows how to work through that in Anaheim property, which is amazing. Uh, oops, sorry, I'm going on tan tangents now, guys. But yeah, subscribe. This is super exciting. Let me know what you like. If you like this video, if you like this idea, press that thumbs up button. And again, yeah, let me know uh, what you guys think in the comments below. And have a fantastic, fantastic day. Oh, I am super excited about this. I love new, new ideas like this. Love it. Have a great day, guys.